All right. This is another in a series of videos talking about how to use the Minnesota eFolio online tool to create an online portfolio. And in this video, we're going to take a look at adding content directly to your eFolio web pages. And we're going to do this using what's called the basic element. And we're just going to kind of cover the most basic parts of that, adding that content directly to your web pages. Um, in this specific demonstration, we're going to look at adding some information to our home page or our welcome page. Uh, it's the first page that people come to see, so you kind of want to make sure you have a nice little uh, presentation at the beginning here. So, in order to add new content, you have to first create the little part, the little piece of new content that you want to add to your web page. I'm going to do this by clicking on New Content. And you can see you can add different types of content here. They have artifact, goal, contact, etc. Or if you click on More, you end up with a whole long list of other things that you could add to it. Now, when most people build their eFolio pages, they strictly stick to the basic element here, and then also at the bottom to this URL. We'll talk about that later. That's adding a, a link to another web page to your site. And I'll show you, um, when you choose one of these other elements, like let's choose Artifact here, and let's click on Create, so we can look at that one. They have a very prescribed list of fields that you're supposed to fill in. Artifact title, artifact type, start date, end date, etc. I'm going to click on cancel because this is not the type I want to use. And I'm going to say yes, I do not want to use that. So each one of these other ones has their own prescribed list of areas that you need to fill in. Now the basic element is the most flexible element they have there. So this is the tool that I use most often when adding content to my web page. As a matter of fact, I didn't use any of the other tools except for that URL one. So in order to start a basic element, you can either double click on the word basic or you can single click on it and then click on create. Once you get here, you really have only three fields that you need to fill in. And I already had done some filling in before. So you can see I added in my title to this one. And I never used the brief text, but I wanted to show you what it's used for, so I added it in here. And then to save time, I just copied and pasted my full text in here. And that's where you add your information in. Down below, you can see three other areas, related content, reflections, and feedback. Those really aren't areas that show up directly on your web page. Uh, the related content, we, we'll take a look at that later. And we'll take a look at those other areas uh, later on in future videos. But for now, once you type in the title and your full text, you can go ahead and click on Save. Now you have to remember the title because that's how it's going to be uh, organized. Once you save a new element, it's then stored down in your My Content. So I'm going to click on My Content to bring that forward. And if you remember, it was a basic piece that I created. So I'm going to click on the triangle next to basic to drop down all my basic items that I could add. So these are all little parts that I created by clicking on new content and basic. If I want to add those parts to my web page, I have to go and find the part I want to add, click on it, and drag it on over to the web page. Now I'm going to add it in two places. You can add it to the left column, the center, or the right column. For right now, I'm going to add it to the center and to the right. This is where that full text versus basic text will come into play here. So now that I've drug and dropped those parts onto my home page, I can go ahead and click on Preview, and you can see what that has done. Here you can see the title. And here you can see the full text. On my front page, I put in a brief quote, a brief welcome, a brief explanation of who I am, and then also how to navigate this site. Now you can see by dragging and dropping it onto the right column, it also added it over here. Welcome to my eFolio is the title. And then here is where the brief text comes in. I'm going to go back to my administration page. And I've decided that I don't want that on that right column anymore. So now I can just hover over it and click on the minus sign, delete page content. 
it's only going to delete it from that area. Now, while this parts to whole is a bit confusing at first, the place where it starts to become a little bit powerful is when you want to add parts into multiple places. So say, for instance, I was working on my combined competencies, and I created a part that fits both under leadership and under communication. I would simply need to drag the part to each one of those pages, and it adds the same information to both places. I'm going to show you a brief demonstration of that. I'm going to use the same welcome to my eFolio message. And let's say I want to add it to my, uh, we'll add it to my resume page. That's kind of a clean page to work with. Uh, to add things to pages, you need to make sure that you select that page and you can click on build. You could have also double clicked on that in order to get there. And so now you can see up here that I'm working on my resume page. Just for now, I'm going to remove this content by clicking on delete. And I'm going to add in that new content that I created, that welcome to my eFolio. So now if I click on preview now, that welcome to Welcome to my eFolio is also on my resume page. So on my resume page, if I click on home page, it'll look pretty much the same because it's the same information. Now, the reason I wanted to show you that is because it's important for you to understand that if you change this part someplace, it changes this part every place. So if I wanted to add some information or somehow change that information to that area, I could either change it here by clicking on this piece of paper and pencil, edit content, or I could have changed it back on my home page with the same method, or I could change it down here by clicking on that and clicking on edit. It really doesn't matter which of those three places I edit because when I edit it one place, I edit it all three places. I'm going to select that there. And just so you can see, I'm just going to add in the words new content. And you need to remember to save. And so now if I preview it, it's added that new content statement to my resume page, which we would expect. But it also added it to my home page, because that part is the same all over the web page. There it is on my home page. If I go back to my administration page and I decide I want to edit it again, except I'm going to go here to edit it. Again. There it also has that new content put in there. So just that you know that when you, once you create these parts, you can use them all over your eFolio site. And if you decided that you wanted the part to be similar but a little different on two pages, you would actually need to create two different basic elements so that way you could keep those two pieces separate from each other. So hopefully that gets you started on adding basic content. Uh, I use the basic content area or element to add information to my home page. I also used it to add information to each of my common competencies when I was talking about my uh, philosophy statements. Um, I also used it to create my contacts list because I wanted it in a specific order. And if you use the contact choice underneath new content, if you decide to use contact, it puts it in a different order than what I wanted. So really to fill in all these areas, I used a lot of basic content elements. So hopefully that's helpful. Take care and good luck.